Welcome back to Super Tata Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, back with another draft prospect. Today we're doing Rashad Bateman, wide receiver from, from Minnesota, as you can see by the thumbnail. He's 6'2", 210 pounds. He had 147 um, catches, 2,400 yards, right at, right under 2,400 yards, 19 touchdowns, 16 yards per catch. Um, Big 10 receiver, uh, a Georgia boy uh, from Tiff County, not too far from here. So he's a... Uh, a different type of receiver that you normally see in the the Big 12, and most of you know I got a bias as far as my receiver conferences: SEC, Big 12. Then I start worrying about other dudes. But I think this dude is a little different from the normal Big 12 receiver, and there are some exceptions to the rule. But you know, for the most part, I like SEC receivers. But without further ado, let's get into Rashad Bateman. Cue the intro. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Now the intro is out the way. Uh, a little full disclosure: this will be the second time I record this video because I made a whole 15 or so minute video about Rashad Bateman about 20 minutes ago, and my mic was plugged up into the PlayStation. So. Um, yeah, I could. I was wondering why I didn't have sound on in Premiere. I'm like, but what? What did I do? Did I got something hooked up wrong? And I realized that I had to pull the mic out of my PlayStation and put it in the computer. So <laughs> let's get into Rashad Bateman. All right, so here's Rashad at the top of your screen. I'm gonna let it play through, and then um, we'll talk about. It. Does a good job of setting this up. Good job. Good job of setting it up. That's him going out in the middle of the field wide open. I know it's tough to see because of the quality, but I'll walk you through it. All right. So what's going to happen is he's going to come off like he's blocking. He's going to settle up, you know, get ready to block the guy. This dude's running like a, a now screen or like he's walking backwards like a bubble. And they don't really know how to react to it. But when this guy right here sticks his foot in the ground and comes up, Rashad just going to you know, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle and split both of them. He's going to split them right there. Now this guy, I think it's going to be this guy, is going to bite on something over here. Or maybe it's this guy. One of these two going to be in this spot and then see Rashad streaking down the middle of the field and try to get back. It's not going to work. bubble so now he he reacts to the bubble he's kind of no man's land he's putting his foot in the ground to kind of come up and help with the tackle he squares up and when he when he gets flat foot footed shot just shoots through there now this dude's gonna take off and try to try to catch up at this point they're all even they're all right around the 40 yard line watch him run away from him all right now they're at the Rashad's at the 21 they're on like the 26 to 25 Rashad has the ball at the 10. They're at the 13 and 14, respectively. Touchdown. So he got burners. They may be big 12 burners, but he got burners. And I talk, I'll reference that later on. Play two. Top of your screen again. See if I can delete my marks from earlier when I did this earlier. Probably won't even remember some of the same things. But again, play two. Top of your screen. Kind of looks like a bracket, but they really just got four people up under. And he works the scramble drill. Works the scramble drill and gets open. Let's see what happens. So it's going to kind of like a bracket. Like this dude right here is going to kind of like he's walling them off, not letting them get inside. But then once he gets past him, he's going to kind of sit in the flats. And he's going to be patient enough to just kind of, you know, work, work, work. So he's trying to wall him off, wall him off, wall him off. Now, I'm past you. I can just work to the soft spot. All this soft area in here, I'm just trying to work to it. Man, ball's not out. Still, still. Look, he's in the middle of all this. In a good spot. If the quarterback gives him the ball, he's in a good spot. He's not really close to, you got a defender here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. He's really not, you know, 
threatened by anybody, but the quarterback can't get him the ball off because he's under pressure. Quarterback's in scramble drill. Now, he sticks his foot in the ground and works back this way. Now, they have you got a defender here, which is probably hard to see, and one here. So, once he breaks that little line I just drew, nobody's up in all this space. Nobody. So, all he really has to do is beat this guy that's behind him to the sideline. Which he does. Ball's thrown. Catch. Get out. High football IQ. Don't just be uh, dead in the water. Don't just be dead in the water. All right. There's Bateman again. Top of your screen. And I think I made this point earlier. Um, he's a lot of times, he's the single receiver. A lot of times. Not every time. So he can kind of work man to man. So let him block it. At 6 2 2 team, you need to bait a block. And that circle was there because he was still blocking down the field right then. Still blocking. Finally came off. Finally came off. A guy this size needs to be able to block. Especially if you know you got a, a running team. You got a team that likes to run the ball. All long runs have receivers down the field blocking. And blocking is just all effort. It's not, it's not. Some of it's muscle, a lot of it's technique, but a lot of it's just okay, I, I'm comfortable with blocking, I like to do it. That's what a lot of it is. The good blockers love doing it. And that's no uh, no technique or no weight you can lift to to compound it. It's, they like blocking, so they're going to work on it, and they're going to take pride in it. Let's go to play four. Is that the top of your screen again? All right, now what I got right here is, and I know I didn't play yet, yet but I'm going to go ahead and talk about it since I got it marked. He's going to run a, a basic or a dig route or a in, so, as some people say it. And what he's going to do is he's going to stack this guy and kind of, he's going to square his feet up, not stack, he's going to square his feet up and kind of give him a move to make him open his hips and basically turn his butt to the sideline. Then he's going to kind of stutter inside to get inside of him. So now he, that he has this guy on his outside hip, he can snap this right off kind of where the yellow line is right here and have and create space. And now he's inside because you know he has an in-breaking route. Snap him off. Great catch. High points the ball. Now, I was so impressed with this catch, I put a back view of this on it. I really like the way he just plucked this ball out of the air. Right behind my head right now, you can't really see him. But look, look at that high point. Look how he high pointed that ball. Look at that. High pointing the ball right here. High pointing. Now, and not like not trying to body catch it because he knows he's in traffic. Just snatch it out of, out of the air with your hands. And keep in mind, this is snow on the ground. This is not a flaw in my uh on my computer. Now this is snow. This game, it was snow in this game. So he's gonna catch this ball, stick his foot in the ground, and go get some more yards. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Play five. Now, these next three plays are um, versus uh, Northwestern. And they're all red zone plays because I think his biggest asset would be a red zone threat. Uh, and, well, let's let the film tell you why. Highlight right there at the bottom of your screen. All right, so with me already drawing and talking about it, he's basically one-on-one -on -one with this safety. He's going to give this safety enough of the enough of a move on this post to get him to basically just kind of jump inside to protect inside. Then he's going to flatten him out. Then he's going to flatten him out, and he's going to get a, a corner route. So he's working inside enough to because he got to protect the inside because he know he don't have no help in there. Gave him enough space. Good ball. High pointed. Dead leg on that left foot, toe tap. Athletic, six two two ten athletic, and understands leverage, and understands leverage on routes. All right, another red zone um, attempt at the top of your screen. Corners playing inside leverage on it. It gives him more of an inside move to push him out there because he know he want to go outside. All that does is create more lane for the quarterback to throw the ball. He, he The guy's sitting inside, so I'm going to push you more inside, then get back outside. 
So now I got from the top of the numbers to out of bounds to get this ball to me. Whereas when the play started, we got more than top of the numbers because you're on the top of the numbers now. So you got maybe a yard or two more in, uh, with that. So now you got all this space from here to here for the quarterback to get you the ball. Balls away, catches it. I don't know if it's toe, jack, toe drag swag, but he gets a, a at least one in because it's college. At least one, but I think he get two right here. I think he gets two. Hard to tell. That's a nice extension on the catch. Nice extension. All right, in the third play. Top of your screen again. I think it's the same corner. Playing inside leverage again. And anybody with height on them, you want them to be able to do this. I'm going to study you right there. Square you up a little bit. Kind of get you flat-footed so you don't know if I'm going in, out, or up. Now I'm going up. You missed out. Hop. There you go. Just go get it. Go get the fade. And the good thing about it is... He don't just take off and run this fade out here. He gets it and he works right here. And that way the quarterback can throw him out there. And he has room for error. Got it. Got it. So that's my assessment or that's the film's assessment of Rashad Bateman. Now I will say this. All this film was from 2019 because um, I couldn't find film that I could play um, for 2020. And again, he's number zero. If you go back and watch some 2020 film, he's number zero. He's not number 13. So all 2020, he changed his number to number zero. But I used the picture 13 because he's number 13 in the video I'm showing. So that's my, um, oh, Big 12 speed. I mentioned that earlier. I just think the speed in the Big 12, it's two notches below two other conferences. I think the SEC is the fastest conference. I think the Big 12 is the second fastest conference. And I think the Big Ten and the other conferences kind of fall in there. So even though he ran from those corners from Wisconsin, could he run from SEC corners or like explode from like that? I don't know. But what I do like about him is at 6'2", he gives you a lot, a little bit of everything. Route running, football IQ, uh, being able to pluck the ball out of the air, don't mind blocking, and just like com completeness, so to speak. So that's my um, assessment of Rashad Bateman. You'll have to you know, see when I get to the end of my top nine to see where he falls in, in the ranks so far. But I was pleasantly surprised with what I saw from Rashad Bateman. And keep in mind, this is last year's film. Didn't see much other than highlights from this year. Didn't get to see like whole games like that. But um, this is Coach Jefferson with Set the Tyler Films, man. I appreciate you guys for coming through. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share. Peace.